There is a place the whole world is talking about. A place where big things are happening. A place that is optimistic and vibrant. Welcome, sir. Thank you. First time in Africa, sir? Yes, it is. But it certainly won't be my last. A place that believes that even greater opportunities and partnerships lie ahead. Welcome to Guarantee Trust Bank. Wouldn't you rather bank with us? Hello and welcome to Real Talk. My name is Cornelia O'Dwyer. We are at the Ice Cream Factory on Admiralty Way in Lecky. I'm about to meet up with some friends to talk about dating in Lagos. Come with me. On today's episode, we have second half of music duo SDC, Tech, singer-songwriter Tonya Garrick, and musician and rapper Poe. That's actually a good question that you asked, Paul, because I'm throwing that at you. What's the question? What is it like? What's the question? What is it? What is the dating scene like for you in Lagos? Let me not even say scene. Africa because that's too wide. Okay, dating scene has reached the point where, like, you know, I think I'm about to stop dating. Dating, <laughs> like, because yeah, I've been here for about six years now, and yeah, like, I haven't successfully entered a relationship. Okay, so <laughs> I get, okay, so how do you, what do you define? Because I think guys and girls define dating completely different, and I know you probably agree with me. Yeah. What's your definition well, of Nigeria, dating? Like, so in Nigeria, like, you can say if you went out with someone, blah, you're dating the person. I don't look at it that way. When you so say you went mean, out, did you mean in the no, car? Like, say if you went out, like, they saw you out at Ice Cream Factory, for yeah. example, everybody automatically assumes you're dating. That to me is not dating. Mine is like successfully, like, boy meets girl. I'm talking from the boy's perspective here. Boy, you, boy likes girl, boy finds that a girl is not insane. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Those are girl has ambitions in life. Girl is honest or straightforward or truthful. You understand? Yeah, those types of things. And then boy and girl engage and become exclusive. Um, I mean, I guess back in the day, you know, you got a guy asks you out, like he, he courts you, so to speak. He tells you, you know, I like you, I want to take you out, you guys go out. And then once you've gone out on several dates, then you know, he now said, asks the question, like, okay, will you be my girlfriend or whatever. Here, he has probably gone and asked, like, paying girls, like, and he has, like, 20 different options. So, and then like with the girls, you know, like you think, okay, he's taking me out, we've gone on dates, he likes me. And then one day, like you see him with somebody else and then you go ask him like, yo, what's up? And he's like, I never said we were dating. I didn't say we were exclusive. But, but, sorry, it's crazy. That, that works two ways though. Because there's a lot of times where like, you've taken a girl out or whatever, you've, you know, you've, because for me, yeah, not to sound funny or whatever, but for me to take a girl out publicly, that in itself is, in my opinion, some kind of intention. Um, I think like for guys, for most guys, and I'm just being honest, there's like different classifications. There's some girls that you ask to go out, there's some girls that you ask to come around. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's, you know, well said, <laughs> succinct, yeah, I like that. Po, what, what's your view on casual dating versus, because I feel like you said you were disagreeing somewhere where you were like, that's not, that's I not just, dating. okay, for me, dating is, if, if, you, if you hang out a couple of times, you go out publicly to, places either to eat movies or whatever the case is you 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 essentially are dating the girl she's not might not necessarily be your girlfriend casually casually, casually. you're spending time with her and there's an because the reason why is there's an expectation mm -hmm. it's an expectation that she has of you that you're gonna hang out with her and call her and talk to her and mm -hmm. the same way you know but if it doesn't happen see the thing about it is that their expectation is there unless you say otherwise okay. then you know I mean, I mean it transcends from casual to serious when you say you know it's just you I want to see I don't know if they, like, she could be, at the time when I met her, she could be talking to like three or four other guys, that's Lagos. And a lot of girls will tell you that none of them have put a ring on my finger, so I'm free to kind of right, right. talk to people. Start locking yourself Sometimes. So yeah, so it's a thing where after I say to the girl that I like her or whatever, and if she replies like similarly or whatever, then my, in my own mind, like all those other guys have to fade. Yes, they will. It, I mean, that's, what do you say to that? Would, would they fade, Tony? Would they fade? Would, not necessarily, exactly. and I think like right now, like oh, for, <laughs> I think yeah, we, well. like women need to be more vocal like with what they want, because if not, like you end up having guys running game on you. You have to say to the guy, like if you like him, because sometimes they might not say anything and that gives them reason to go play around. You have to say, listen, what are we doing? Like, you know, are we just 
hanging out. And you know, we don't. Are we just hooking up? Like you know, so then that way you guys are both on the same page with what you're doing. Sometimes you, like sometimes there's some girls that sometimes like I don't like I don't waste no time. I'm just being real. Like I don't waste no time because that's the vibe I get. But that's also because there's certain classifications of girls from the relationship. Yeah, or that's how I've classified that girl yeah. already. Oh, it's as a fast one, like you can yes. pull a fast one. Oh yeah. wow! I don't pull a fast yeah. one. They do she that to us. Girl, they do a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. Do, like, no, because, no, no, no. I don't think it's even just it's that because you can't just one. see a girl and just assume like, oh, you know what? Like I'm just gonna hook up with her. That's all she. Yeah, there's some. Look, let me let me explain something to you. So I go to the club now. I go to the club now. I see a girl. She's wearing some mad ass sexy outfit, right? That doesn't when, mean... Wait, 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 wait. You're wearing the sexy outfit, then she's dancing or looking at you provocatively, yeah. yeah? You exchange numbers or whatever. In a short period of time, this is social media age, mm -hmm. so you can exchange numbers, you can exchange text, pictures, blah, 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 things are flying back and forth. Now, in that already, you've already, you've already clearly f like seen where this interaction is going. Mm -hmm. If she, wished, if, if she wants just a sexual interaction with the guy. Yeah, and, 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 that's, and, that's, and, that's, and that's why I said like a woman has to be more vocal about what she wants. Like, exactly, mm -hmm. she's right. Because otherwise you end up playing yourself. Because if you're sitting here thinking like, oh, I really like this guy, um, but I'm just going to hook up with him hoping something is going to happen. And then he tells you later on like, oh, well, it wasn't like that. Yeah then you're hurting yourself. But if like right from Jump Street, I told him like, oh, listen, I'm just trying to hook up with you. Nothing more than that, it's just sex. It's how the girl puts herself out, yes. truly. Yes. You, you, you and need then you a girl. Her, you and then you decide yeah, you whether turn, or she, she's the one that, she's the one that does what she does and then she gets a grade based off that. And I'm saying this because it's Lagos and because I've been here for two years and I've seen how this dating And you don't wise up, girl. And I, I don't wise up. <laughs> See, so that's the point. Guys and girls are doing pretty much the same thing. Yes. Yes. I, well, you know, the, the truth is, I mean, I mean, yeah, at this point, I, was, I will say that, and that's because I have learned. Because um, before, I was like, you're one woman girl, you know, you're one woman man or whatever. And I just, for me, I just felt like, okay, you know, if I'm with this guy, like, I just want to do, I'll move heaven and earth for him. But like, since I've been in Lagos, I'm just like, dang, like, guys, be playing some <laughs> yeah. crazy games with these girls, like, playing with your feelings. So I'm just like, okay, you know, until I get to a point where I feel like, okay, he and I are exclusive, this guy cares about me, and he, he will move heaven and earth for me, mm -hmm. then no. I want to put it out there live on Real Talk. <laughs> you understand? Exclusive. Exclusive to Real Talk. I used to love to him. Right. Growing up. Yeah. This is a real life story. Well, and I say, you still love me. I used to listen. So this is a real oh life, God, real life story. I'm putting it out on Real Talk. I used to love her. She broke my heart. And her boyfriend at the time broke my bones. <laughs> this is cute. This is really cute. I actually told her, you know, back in the day when you're growing up, you don't really realize. I'm going to tell the story now. And like, you don't really realize, like me, I learned the lesson that snitching is bad through time. Oh, snitch. Because I went out, I see her boyfriend. I was trying to toast her at the time, so we're talking on the phone. I went out, I see her boyfriend with this other girl. So me now not knowing that snitching was bad, and I'll call her like, yo, I'm going to tell you something, but you have to promise me you're not going to tell anybody. So I was like, she was like, yeah, I promise. Let me know. What is it? So I was like, yeah, your boyfriend. I saw him with this other girl. I broke that rule, the guy code. Like, I, didn't even know, I didn't even know about the guy code. So I broke it. This is like in JS3 or something. And the next day, I was in my class. I just looked to the guy. I was in KC, so the, the, my class was right by the gate. I also saw the guy coming. I was all steam coming from his head. And the guy was heading straight to my own class. I just knew what had happened. I jumped out of the window. I scaled from school. I didn't come back to school the whole day. The guy was now sending me messages. Sending me I was hiding out in Mr. Biggs. The guy was now sending me messages like, yo, tell him that when he comes back to school today, he's dead. You know, and there was no mobile phones there, so I couldn't call Tonya to find out what had happened. The so, things you do for, for love. love. Can you imagine? That is a cute story. And I now went back, they now brush me, like seven guys brush me, thanks to Tonya. Oh. So He took a beating for you. Yeah. Okay, so how do you guys feel about like Instagram dating? <laughs> and le and I say Instagram because it's the, gu it's the guiltiest if there's such a word. Would you date online? Like, would you like what meet somebody on Twitter? Yeah, Tinder, Twitter. Uh, okay, Tinder? I mean, I, I have gone on Tinder. dates on Tinder, but what's Tinder? It's but it's it's that's not like <laughs> that's not Instagram <laughs> dating. <laughs> that, but that's it's like it's like it's like matchmaker.com. It's wait, you what? Have you been? Oh, you're not on Tinder. Are you on no, Tinder? Here, I've been on, like when I was in yeah, the States, yeah, I was on two dates. 
It wasn't bad. They weren't crazy. Like, like they were decent people. people. But, like, it, it, <laughs> first of all, you, you're going through Tin and you're just seeing everybody you know on there. You're just like, yeah. what the hell? And then people that you know that are in relationships are on there. You're just like, what like the hell? single. Yeah. I would say like there's a lot of people that there's. A, I've been on like I've been on dates where it's like someone saying you and I, I know who'll be perfect for you, and you know you should meet this person. And like we'll go and we'll meet up and it'll be a disaster. Right. You know, and like to me, like to a certain extent, even like when I'm talking to the person, I'm like, ah. so imagine if it was you that hooked me up with the person, I'd be like, ah, what does Connie Girl think of me? Did so you I just say Connie Girl? <laughs> <laughs> what does Connie Girl think of me to hook me up with this person? And she thought right. we would match. Like she must yeah. think I'm crazy or something. For me, I honest, honestly, I feel like social media has really messed up a lot of relationships because like nobody cared about all that stuff before like I hear girls complaining about how oh my god I don't like that he didn't put that word like you know on Facebook where they put your relationship status he yeah. didn't put like we're in a relationship or you know he doesn't have pictures of me and I'm like wait when social media didn't exist like what were you doing like you guys just had your pictures and it, it stayed on your phone or it stayed in your own album like now it's become Trendy. You're trying to do it for everybody and I'm mm. like, no, but that's not what a relationship is about. And I feel like social media relationships are the relationships that often just s scatter at the end of the day. But do you think it's okay to express how you feel if somebody has done something nice for you, like maybe send you flowers to your office on Valentine's Day every, oh my God, February 14th is like I, the worst day to look on Instagram. Everybody I has think like I think if it's if it's genuine and if it's like maybe once in a while you do it, but not the one that you now be basing like, oh, the, maybe I look at Paul, his, you know, oh, his, he bought flowers for his girl today. Tomorrow this one bought diamonds that I'll now be getting a complex. I'm wondering why my boyfriend hasn't done because I want to put it up on social media. No. Do you think we're just pessimistic? Like, isn't that a negative thing? Like, if somebody's expressing love and it's no. genuine and you know they are in a relationship, so I... There's no wrong with tech it. Tech and... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tech <laughs> tech right? Tech. Well, no, it's a genuine relationship. So Paul and I are sitting like, we're like, Ah, what's so, going on here? So, 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 a few things. First of all, um, I don't really, like for me, I'm a private person when it comes to relationships anyway. So I wouldn't put that out because, um, like, especially because I'm an entertainer as well. So that's like an added form of pressure where people feel they have access to comments on your relationship and comments about your partner. I've seen some really nasty ones where people would be like, yeah, he's, the girl is not even fine self. Right, right. You know? Like all that stuff, you, whoever puts that up, you leave yourself open to those types of like comments and criticism and insults, yeah. So I don't really think it's anybody's business in that regard. Um, on the flip side as well, like I think if you are that way inclined, because there's some people who like, you know, I just had a glass of water and take yeah. a picture. I just had like a milkshake and yeah. they take a picture. Like that's already the way their life is set up already for social media. They want to put every activity on. If that's your way, I'm not knocking your way. Like there's nothing think, wrong with it. But if if the the negative thing happens and that is your relationship is now open to yeah. scrutiny, scrutiny, then you have to accept yeah. it. We decided to take real talk to the streets. I personally don't believe in the word dating. I believe in being in a relationship, so I prefer the word relationship. Uh, for example, I'm in a relationship with the love of my life. Uh, if I call her name on air, I think I should do that. She would be happy to hear that. My name is Adeswa Martins Ehiage, and I have decided, because I know she's God sent, to be with her till we are married. And when we are married, to live the rest of my life with her. So why should I find someone else and decide to share that love with the person when I know that she's the only one for me? Everybody is just pretty much in their own world. So it's more of it's more about me and I myself, you know that kind of thing. It's not about you and I. Dating in Lagos to me it, it, uh, it's so easy. You understand? Although they said that girls in Lagos they are too exposed as in all what they needed is uh, all about money. They don't really Care about feelings, but presently the present situation, as in present relationship which I am right now, at least I met a girl in Lagos here. Yeah. And ever since I met the girl, my life changes or emotionally has really changed a lot. Before I do double date a lot, as in I'm a player. Forget, no be same out matter. But ever since I met this girl, life has changed. You understand? I, I stop as in mingle around with girls. Even sometimes, if I do see her, if I'm with any other girl, my heart will cut. Like, no, I beg, you understand? I value this girl.
and I wouldn't want to lose her. You understand what I'm saying? Those are the qualities that she has brought up into my life. Casual dating is everywhere in Lagos. But a relationship is hard. But dating, per se, it's everywhere. Everybody's dating everybody. Uh, um, Lagos girls only tell you they want. They're all about money and um, they, what they want is money and um, I don't think dating exists in Lagos. I mean, I think, I think it's, it's not as dire as, you know, some people make it out to be. Um, you're getting DMs, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't check those DMs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't check those DMs. Well, for the girls. Yeah, no, I, I definitely don't check them. For the girls. But I don't, I, you know, I think the real, the real reason is that we are, guys are, we don't, women are stronger. We can't take... A lot of stuff we, we dish out to women, we cannot take even uh, you know, a little bit of it. Right. So I, I really think that us men, we have to act a bit better mm -hmm. you know, with the girls that we find, because we do find decent girls. Mm -hmm. The thing is just, she's just like you said, she's jaded, she's coming from a different perspective and patience, and I just don't think it's as bad. I think there's plenty of girls, plenty of guys out there for everybody to be happy. So stop taking more than your, your share. Man, another 10 grown man points for um, you, man. <laughs> and last but not the least, <laughs> to be honest, like I, like I, <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely, yeah, I'm definitely jaded as well. But I mean, like I agree, there are very good girls out there, and they're very good guys as well. But I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like in Lagos, like guys are really outnumbered. There's so many girls running around, so they do feel like they have options. For me, I've always been a hopeless romantic. I've always been like, you know, you know, one that one find your soulmate, that one person, and like I just would hope that. A lot of relationships will end up like that, like you find your soulmate and you're just in love, but then this yeah. place has just like... The dating life in Lagos is real, I'm is real. Real. <laughs> we're still by God's grace. <laughs> we're still by God's grace. Yeah, let's be optimistic, because I, I feel like there are good people out there. So. I just feel like once you say by God's grace, not to say that is a bad thing, it just sounds like you have defeated oneself. But we are defeated now, yeah, like by, the market by God's is poor. <laughs> the market it's, it's is market. poor. Right now, it's not vibrant like, right now. Yeah. So. yeah. We kind of just need to at least accept what it is and let it be for the best. Hinder. But, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> but you can join the conversation by following us on Twitter and Instagram at Ndani TV. If you would like to date Po or Tech, you can use the hashtag Ndani Real Talk. If you have a topic you would like us to discuss, you can also use the hashtag Ndani Real Talk. Until next time, I'll see you on Real Talk. Yeah, that will be nice. <laughs> yeah. Bank, pay my money. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's your boy DJ Case. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to Danny Chief channel where you can watch more videos. Subscribe, just hit that button right there. More videos, enjoy. Everyone is happy. Thank you. <laughs>